Hey everybody, welcome back. So I went a little crazy. I finally placed down those solar panels. Uh, so yeah, I put a set here. And then I put another set. You guys are gonna laugh at this one. I put one right here in the middle. Uh, there's some gaps here I haven't, you know, fixed or whatever because other things are in the way. But yeah, it goes right around the entire equator-ish. Actually, this is the equator right where these machines are. If we go into build mode, this is the equator. So I was thinking I'll leave the equator there and I'll space it out and start out here eventually and layer another uh, three layers. But this is insane amount of power anyway. So all this is shut down. I've turned off basically all our power producing grid, right? And our current capacity is at 518 megawatts. Um, it does go up quite high because of the the north and south poles uh, at certain parts of our rotation around the uh, star uh, basically we have more uh, lighter and darkness so from button um, you know so like sometimes one is exposed and the other one's quite exposed as well so uh, you get basically uh, light from both sides at one point of the year and then uh, one side will get more than the other and things like that so uh, but basically yeah this is what I'm doing uh, they're a little insane but uh, it works and I've I don't need the other power for now um, it was starting to be very annoying it would keep shutting down on me I, we lost so much power and I just I couldn't deal with it anymore so I just said screw it oh the star must be like right above us these are flipping around being silly <laughs> that's actually kind of cool I should probably program that to just like not bother or whatever with a delay there uh, but yeah so that's what I did and uh, no accumulators you don't even need accumulators kind of a little sad there because uh, you know obviously the world is uh, round and you can easily just uh, deal with it there um, I would say accumulators might be worth it from some cases, but even then I don't think so. Uh, the only reason I can see accumulators being somewhat worth it is, you know, using this system here and then just storing accumulators and then using them when you want them, basically. That's, that's kind of the only way I really see the need of the accumulators. But um, anyways, that's cool either way. So um, over here, we last time finished this up. We were making uh, our deuterium here. We finally got this uh, uh, miniature particle collider going, which eats a lot of power when it wants to run. And uh, then we were creating these guys here, the strange matter. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take strange matter and diamonds. Or actually, no, I think it's, yeah, both of those, I think. And then we're going to combine them. So I think these are pretty much, well, that's a starport, so I'm not going to touch it. Same with that one. So we're going to basically set one of these guys up over here, I guess. And we're going to have some fun with this today. So uh, let's set it up here, I guess. I'll go from there. I see this is going to be in the way, though. It's like, do you really want the oil to get owned? Let's, let's build it this way then. Okay. Can I uh, shift click? Oh no, I need one of you guys. I don't want a starport. <laughs> I call them starports, so they just seem cooler sounding anyways. Okay, so we'll set you up here and then we'll work on this way. So off camera, I did some research. Um, I was going to pause it, never got around to hit and pause. I did this one. Uh, the ore, view the ore reserves of a planetary system within six light years, keeping everything in control. It's kind of a, a useless. This is more like just do it. Why not? There, there was no need. Like, this is four light years. We click this. All you see is signal detected. You don't, you know, like, so you know there's f fire and ice and things like that, but there's no, you know. Um, I guess when you go to other places, it's completely unknown. So I guess within six light years, at least you know that, you know, there's a certain resource. So I guess that helps, you know, if you're looking for a rare one or you want to make sure there's iron or something like that. I mean, that that exists. So, you know, this has uh, crude oil, fire ice and organic crystal. Uh, so that's not really a special place, but it's not bad. This one here, organic crystal, sulfuric acid. So there's a sulfuric acid type planet there, obviously. Uh, optical grading crystal in that one. That's pretty cool. Um, what's this one? Well, that's too far away to see, basically. So that's all you're doing. You're basically fire ice and sulfuric acid. Um, so yeah. There's a couple water planets on that one, so that's probably kind of fun. Um, organic. Oh, here, yeah, I hear that. Spindle, whatever. Living uh, once within a wily ocean of the depth of blah, blah, blah. So yeah, you can, might be able to use that for uh, a crafting recipe, like a rare or whatever. But that's basically what it offers. Nothing too exciting, but I mean, at least you'd be able to see what's going on there. 
Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to set this to diamonds. I actually have the diamonds that we create way over here somewhere. Um, I have them going into one of these now that we had over there. So I was like, okay, let's, uh, let's get these guys over here as well then. So let's go ahead and set 10 of these guys in here. And then we're going to go to demand. And let's power this puppy up. There you go. And that'll charge those up and then I'll run. Okay, perfect. I guess you can change this to like some crazy number. There you go. <laughs> okay, so uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to craft uh, this guy right here, uh, these guys. So we're going to take four of those diamonds, a lot of diamonds, and then uh, one of these guys, so not really a lot of those, and we're going to uh, convert them into this uh, gravit uh, graviton lens. And it takes six seconds, so not too bad there. So let's go ahead and do that. So well, I guess we'll start over here, and that way you can pull from... Oh, I guess you can pull down there anyways. So one, two, three, four. And keep in mind, this is going to be like your fuel. Like, this is pretty damn important for warping and everything else. Eventually, you'll be able to make them out of something else. I, I mean, this one's just diamonds. So that's carbon. That's actually a really easy recipe. The thing that will make this expensive is these guys here. Actually, yeah, no. It'll be these guys, I guess, because that's just running it through again, right? For 10 seconds, one of those. Yeah, so basically, this is your your cost here, which it's, uh, that's a deuterium... So I'll just hydrogen, that's fine. So iron, iron's obviously a cost. And what about you guys? Okay, so iron and... Oh, you can make those out of another material. Okay, so this would actually be something worth getting. Unpolarized magnet, if we can find some of that, that would be probably a good place just to build an entire, uh, like, warp type, uh, you know, place eventually. I wonder if I can make this with anything else. You can make them with the greens. It's interesting it shows the greens, because I'm not sure if that's like... I'm not sure if those are easy to make, or there's something else you can use as a byproduct, or you know what I mean? But anyway, so when looking at this whole recipe, I would say the best way to do this is find the uh, polarized whatever mabopper eventually. So you, all you need is the copper, then this, and then all you need is hydrogen, basically. And, uh, oh, and a wee bit of iron, I guess, for the uh, next one, right? Yeah, and we've been iron, but the copper and iron are at least a lot less, and uh, you, you reduce the cost quite a bit. So either way, that will be a, a future uh, project, you know, finding the right planet, you know, that kind of fun stuff. So uh, we're going to change you to diamonds, please, and then we're going to come out and set you guys up. And we'll take you, and then we'll go, uh, oops, that was weird one. Oh yeah, I was trying to copy it. That's why. I think I was doing it like Factorial style. Even though I haven't played Factorial in like a million years. Uh, I think I was kind of doing it that way just because it was in my brain. Um, okay, and then you can come... Yeah, we can just go over here. It doesn't matter really. There we go. And we'll go ahead and... So isn't this cool? We're going to actually go out and warp in space today. That is pretty damn cool. And eventually we'll build enough and we'll just go like crazy exploration eventually. Okay, so. There you go. And then we need to get you guys out here. Okay, so those are good. We're good. Oh yeah, this got to fire up again. Power's going to go up a bit more now. <laughs> But, uh, no, my power has been pretty good, so. With this new one, I, this is a good way to see how good your power is. You just keep an eye on this, and basically you can see it up there. So that's probably where it peaked up, where, like, basically the poles were probably pretty good lit, lit up. This was probably, like, your, uh, you know, in the, the most, uh, you know, proper way the, you know, the, the earth and tilt and everything else is around the star and then it's going down a wee bit, which is fine. Like I said, uh, I think it generates like over 300, uh, uh, thousand watts at this point, I guess, or million or whatever the heck that is, but, uh, it's more than enough for what we need. Or me mega, yeah, megawatts, sorry. Okay. 
It's the jewels that throw me off. They have jewels showing there too, so it's like, what? Okay, so let's go ahead and we'll take you. And we're just gonna go, how long do you take to do this? I didn't even check. I think we did. Oh, 7.5, okay. You're nice and slow, aren't you? There you go, so you got the seed of life here. I'm just saying that because it sounded dirty in my head, actually. Okay, so there we go. And then, uh, honestly, I mean, it'll take time to actually really make this fast. The hydrogen is keeping up. Um, actually, it's the other stuff that would have to keep up. So, yeah, you know what? I'll leave it for now. I was going to expand it more, but uh, that's fine. It's not going to be this anyways. One every six seconds. So, uh, it's going to be the next process that's going to slow us down, basically. Which is now taking it and converting it into this. So if this is right, all it is is an assembler, except it takes 10 seconds to actually craft this. Oh, look at that. The green research is actually eight of them it creates, not just one. So that is interesting. Um, I guess it gives you a use for the green research too eventually, right? So, okay. I don't know if you'll ever use these for anything else, but let's just do what we like doing and storing it away for rainy day, I guess. There you go. And then we'll go ahead and, uh, yeah, we'll just go and line this up over here. And let's just fill this in here. There we go. Okay. I guess it's not getting power over there, huh? Do, do, do. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and then. We'll literally just take it out of here again. Here you go. And then basically now we need to convert these. Oh, uh, you know what? I should be doing them down here probably, right? Yeah. And then we should actually be setting this the right one so we can easily copy it over. So I gotta set these guys to these guys right here. There you go. So the way this goes, you're going to need a couple of these if you want them to there you go, keep up a, at all. And then let's go ahead and uh, set you here because it's going to be a long process, right? So 10 seconds. Wait, it's even longer, right? Because these are only the uh, slower versions of them too. So there you go. There you go. So yeah, that's gonna 4.5 of them a minute, which is pretty damn slow. I don't know how much warp fuel it takes to get anywhere. You know, obviously this is all new territory, right? So um, maybe you don't even need that much to begin with. Maybe you're gonna need an insane amount. You know, I don't. I don't know. Uh, I was thinking if I need to expand this, I'll probably just move this. Plus, I can go out this way anyway. So not really too worried about that. Okay, so we're gonna bring you guys out here. So. There's our first uh, warp fuels, and these will be used. I don't know how they work in the the main thing. As far as I know, I don't know if you just plug them in, or uh, I think you might have to actually use one of the slots. I guess. I know they can be used on the ships. I just don't know how they're used. So maybe uh, we'll test that. I don't know if it requires to use one of the slots up, or if if you fill it up with nothing there, another part of the interface opens up. I'm not I'm not really sure, because eventually you're gonna want to be literally shipping stuff here right so I gotta figure out how that's even done okay so yeah I'll put you right there and then uh, here we go put you there and there we go and no power obviously and this one has power oh yeah you apparently you do okay so there you go It'll also be interesting to see how high these stack. I kind of just want to see that just so I know how much I can stack on me. And then you're going to want some backup amounts. Um, if you don't go too far, you can... The, the, the entire uh, galaxy here is seamless. So if you were to, say, go to this star here and you screwed up and you ran out of, uh, you know, juice, basically, you can say. Um, or this one here, we'll say, because it's pretty close looking. Or maybe this one. This looks actually a little closer. But anyways, if you ran out of juice here, all you would have to do is uh, just, you know, 2,000 meters a, a second. 
basically point back here and then just afk it might take you 45 minutes or something like that you know this might be an hour and a half you know this could be four or three or four hours so obviously the further you go the the more screwed you are so uh, make sure you save your game just in case if you have to go backwards but even then it'd be probably a fun rescue mission or see if you can rebuild or whatever out in the middle of nowhere i mean a lot of things here isn't about um getting the right materials and everything else either right it was like a lot of research and learning and understanding the basics so even if you were totally stranded on a new system if you, you had uh, the right resources you could easily get out of there honestly so um you're still going right yeah you are okay it's a pretty slow process but that's fine um i want to know how you're keeping up though yeah, you're keeping up just fine. Okay. Oh, by the way, I don't know why I ever used this as a buffer. I should have used liquid buffer for this. I don't know why. I'll just I'll change it eventually. Out. That was just uh, basically a brain fart at one point. I guess I just didn't even pay attention or something. So let's get rid of you and just throw you in here, and then let's get rid of this before it fills up too fast. And there you go. We'll fix that up now. We want this to be this one here. Makes more sense, right? Way more denser you can store, so. And then, are you, we're just using regular belts anyways into this, aren't we? There you go. Unfortunately, I don't think you can... Oh, I can try it with what's in my inventory. I don't know if you can... Apparently, it doesn't even let you open up your inventory, actually, <laughs> with the same interface, so... Um, you can try clicking it and then opening it and see if it dumps in there. No. It's the only way if you want to save it, which I will because, I mean, it is deuterium and it was a little more on the expensive side. Uh, basically, we can just funnel this guy here. Actually, let's use one of our fast belts for fun. Go into there and then you can just dump this in here like that. There you go. That'll work. That's pretty rapid, I'd say. Okay, how are you doing here? Okay, so the stack is 100. Awesome. So now we know. So now we were going to see what happens if I attempt to pipe this into here. Like, that's... Like I said, I don't know if you can even, so... I'm just going to try it out here. So let's put you into here, and then uh, set you here and here. Oops. Let's see what happens. Um... Like I said, I don't know if it'll even take it. Oh, that's taking it, all right. Okay, no, it takes it. Interesting. It has its own... So it's actually going into there, but it doesn't actually show... That is so bizarre. So it works. It just does not actually... Huh. It just doesn't actually show you anything here. Okay, I'm taking the other 50. You can't have that. So, that is interesting. I don't know if that's broken or because we have no, let's say, domestic flights. It doesn't show up, so if we have a place where it's far away, then maybe? I don't know. You just think there would be an interface for that, so... Um, because you can't usually feed this with other materials, as far as I know, unless it just ate it, like it's gone forever. What happens if I go like this? So the fuel is gone. But is it really gone? You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know. Honestly, I, I never knew you could do that. I just thought there's some sort of new interface would show up, so. Okay, we'll leave it alone. We'll we'll learn about it and figure it out eventually. Okay, so let's go ahead. I just want to get uh, a bit more of this here. So here you go. There's that. So we got 100 for us. And uh, we should have another 100 for a backup on us. Okay, so let's put this into our fuel or our jump slot. Here you go. Oh, you can only do 20 at a time. Okay. That must go pretty far then. Any interface changes or anything? Nope. You just put 20 in there and that's it. Okay. That's not as exciting. Okay, so maybe 100 is more than enough, especially since you can't accidentally burn all of it at once. And then let's get ourselves some fuel. So where are we making our fuel these days? Uh, for ourselves. Oh, that's over here, isn't it? 
right there. Obviously, I don't want to be stuck and you know have fuel. <laughs> okay. Probably don't have to go too crazy here. There you go. And I was thinking of bringing some accumulators along too, because you can place them down and use the power temporarily too, right? So why not? There you go. Okay, so let's go to the stars here. And see what we got here. So what is an interesting place to visit here? I mean, honestly, none of them are that interesting from what I saw. Going far away is probably going to be a lot more interesting. Like, there's a red giant there. So what's the time on these places anyways? This will take... Reaches in... Oh, 11 seconds. Okay, reaches in 43 seconds. Is that actually clicking them? Oh yeah, there it is. So fire, silicon, optical, grating crystal. I wonder what that one was for, to be fair. Fire and ice. So that's kind of like the same as what we have. Let's go to this one because uh, let's go to the closest one, actually. Let's see what it says. This one is 15 seconds, 11 seconds, 20, 50. Okay, let's go to this one. Shadir, Shadir, 11 seconds. And the reason I don't want to go with that one is because maybe that would be the best for um, setting up an outpost. Now, here's the problem. Well, I, I think actually the ones that are close by, they show up on here, so that you're good. There's no pin option, I don't think so. Okay, so we'll just hit, uh, I guess, cap lock then? Well, that was just uh, wrong button shift. Holy crap. Okay, there we go. Okay, this is a lot faster and cooler than I ever expected. Okay, so I jumped out and... Oh, interesting. So we're there. Let's see what the fuel was like that trip. So I wonder if we... I wonder if there's a usage out of that or it's... Hmm. Okay, so we'll stop again and we'll go again. Okay. So it keeps using that fuel no matter what. Okay. Okay. Oh, we, we passed our destination, didn't we? There we go. There we go. So we're in this Shadir uh, place. So let's go ahead and uh, speed up here. Quite far away, but we can get up to 2,000, and that's not really far at all then. But we used all our fuel up. That's fine. It'll charge up pretty good. So what do we have in this system anyway? So we can check here. So we're we're a little low, but we'll we'll learn how to uh, get that jump going a little bit better. So we have in this system. Okay, look at this. We have more materials than we'll ever need here. Uh, so we have twenty-seven thousand iron ore, twenty thousand copper ore, twenty-one silicon ore, fourteen. Or sorry, I don't know why I said thousand. Twenty-seven million. 20 million and then 21 million and then 14 million titanium 9 million stone 16 million coal uh, 67.19 a second crude oil we already had way too much crude oil <laughs> uh, you got the organic crystals here and you have a, both a sulfuric acid ocean and a water ocean so which planet is which? Oh, okay. Look at this planet. This is this is gonna be our main outpost for sure. Look at this. A uh, uh, tidal locking uh, petrol day and night. So basically, this does not rotate. This planet always moves this way. So this side is gonna always be like it's like the dark side of the moon, right? And this is gonna always be uh, the light side here. Okay, that's pretty cool. So. I should have brought solar panels here. Obviously, I'll have to work on that after. But uh, bringing solar panels here would be a really smart choice. Uh, the wind ratio sucks. Actually, the solar panel ratio is pretty good here because uh, the solar energy rate is 121%. So it's a bit higher than normal. So um, what else do we have? We got an uh, oceanic jungle. Cool. Uh, has some crude oil on that. So that's all the crude oil and everything else. And then you have this little guy over here. 
Very cool. Yeah, I say this is the one and has 14, almost 15 million iron ore. So one of the things that we're actually running out a bit on is iron ore. So that's actually a really big deal that we can finally get ourselves some iron ore. Okay, this is uh, taking too long. So let's go ahead and just use this for a second. Okay, we probably passed that a bit. Okay, there's the, oh, I guess we'll go to this one first. I think this is the jungle one we're going to first here. So obviously spamming that, you're wasting it, but whatever. Realizing how cheap it is now, meh. That's good news too for our ships. If it only takes one, you know, one of those per trip or whatever, then it might be even better. Or maybe they're even better and they don't use that much. They're like, they use a fraction. So this planet here... Look at that. Isn't it beautiful? It's like a... Kind of like a tropical paradise. Well, it's supposed to be a jungle, so... There you go. So you got jungle-looking trees and stuff. So you got lots of silicon in here. This is full of crude oil everywhere. And you got regular water. So if we need that... This basically is actually a really good uh, system just to set up... Uh, well, you, this could easily be your main base over time, even. But definitely great. Okay. Let's just double check. Yeah, so there's your uh, iron. But that other planet would be probably better for the outpost anyways. But uh, let's check out this planet here. So yeah, you got uh, 4 million iron, not even a million copper, almost 10 million silicon, 0 titanium, 2 million stone, 16 million coal. Of course, you got water. Wind and solar, or sorry, wind energy ratio is 100%. Solar is only 73. Um, crude oil, 67.19. And then the organic crystals. The organic crystals, what were those ones for? Pretty sure those are the ones that I was like meh about when I saw them originally. Um, I'm pretty sure I was like, oh yeah, organic crystals. And it wasn't like a really... I could be wrong. It could have been another one, but I feel like it wasn't really like a, a big bonus compared to uh, some of the other stuff. So, well, that's the spin, whatever. Where was that? I swear I saw organic crystals before, but maybe not. No, that's a different one, right? Yeah. To be fair, maybe I just don't have anything unlocked that requires those yet, then. I thought I did for some reason, but I don't see anything here yet, so. That might. Is that showing you what the recipes are for? Oh, deterium prior. Oh, okay. I didn't realize what that one was. I never probably clicked or paid attention to it. So if it's in here somewhere, I'm not seeing it, but uh, that's fine. I'm sure it'll be useful over time, so. Yeah, I don't see anything f special here. Okay. Anyways, let's check the other ones here. So we got that. And then uh, let's check the solar system here. So that's the one we're on. And then you got the locked one. And then you got this one. Let's check this one out because I feel like we're going to spend time at the locked one anyways. So what do they call that one? This one is called two, that's one, and that's three, okay. One day maybe we can name everything so it'll be a little easier. So it's this one right here, right? Yeah. So obviously you could go to warp quickly here. I mean, that's starting to just waste it, I think, a little too much at this point. I'm just gonna fly into it at max speed. Now keep in mind, doing this obviously, now you're going to have to wait slowly for your your suit to recharge here, but we'll have uh, better fuel in the future anyway, so it won't be a big deal. Brakes use less power, I believe, but uh, if you can, crashing into the planet works actually way better. <laughs> there you go. That works much better. So, what's on this? Is this, uh... Let's check this out. This is a pretty ugly planet, huh? So, I got silicon here. Lots of silicon. Oh, we got the titanium, some iron, copper. 
Some stone coal. It's just a pretty basic planet. And let's see what it was offering here for... Uh, Okay, so it's just basic resources. You got your, your decent amount of basic resources, but nothing special here, obviously. The wind and solar ratio here is really bad. <laughs> so it's not worth it. Okay. And then let's go to number one, I guess, basically. See what this planet offers. There you go. I'll uh, let myself reserve some of the energy. Cool. Yeah, I do hope that we get like, maybe there is, there's keys that you don't know about or anything, but like, as far as I know, you can't like bookmark things and stuff like that. You can't, you know, set a destination. That's one thing I would like to do. Just set a destination, a waypoint. Um, if you look in the stars and you hold there, you can actually set a pin or something there, I believe. In this mode, yeah, you can set a pin, but it doesn't really help you, you know what I mean? But uh, here's this planet, boom. So obviously that's probably going to be the sulfuric acid. So that's pretty cool, sulfuric acid on here. The whole planet has a bubble sound to it all the time, okay. It's a little extreme. I don't want to change it. You just have to you get used to it. It's just the planet. <laughs> So this one has is locked, right? So yeah, all the time it's uh, if we go over here, I guess a little bit more into the center. Basically, there you go. So this is uh, always daytime here. This would be perfect to set up your power and everything else. And if you get it, um, I, let's see what it looks like actually here. Um, do 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 do. do I guess build mode. There you go. So I wonder if this is like the perfect center part here. I'm guessing maybe they did it that way. Yeah, it looks pretty damn close, yeah. You might need to go down further, but yeah. This planet actually looks really big. I don't know if it really is. It just seems bigger. Maybe not. Cool. So yeah, this would definitely be the place to set up a uh, home, basically. Oh, here he goes. This is the center and the center, I think. There you go. This is the center as you get, basically, right here. <laughs> Very cool. So you could even set this up for fun right here. In the dead center, you can set up the... Uh, is it the big one? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here you go. Dead center. There's our uh, little operational center here. There you go. I guess, look at that. Look at the shadows. I guess they'll never move, too. <laughs> That's going to be funny looking. Uh, okay. And uh, funny enough, I didn't bring power for stuff like this. This is going to be a little funny. But, uh, I mean, I have these guys, but, I mean, this was more for other stuff. I didn't think I would be doing it this way, so um, what you sh what I should be doing is setting up uh, storage here. Actually, this should be a good place to just store and uh, run back, and then just come back and fill this up again, kind of thing. Just give you give it all your 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 stuff here, and then that way you can build. So it's like okay, here's all your uh, your common raw resources, right? Maybe not the fuel or whatever. Even those would be useful. But, uh, and then you can go ahead and be like, okay, so here's all your build ones. Well, I guess we can do a second one. And then like, okay, so here's all your build uh, materials now. Even those will count. Basically, you bring all that here. Oh, there you go. We'll just double click it all. Keep those ones here. Now, you should probably keep some of this here, actually. So keep 50 of them here. This is like your emergency oh crap button, right? Doesn't matter where you keep it, but you, you definitely want to keep that. And even this, you know, keep uh, keep 20 of that even. You don't want to be, uh, you know, obviously uh, coming here and then all of a sudden, you know, not have those materials here. Cool. Let's go and get some more materials for fun then. Okay, so this is definitely our nice little planet here. Now, where do we live? That's where we live, right? So we just go over here, and we're gonna use cap locks, or there you go. So 
So now we just gotta slow this down when we get close enough. Not bad, not bad. Okay. Let me just speed up here. It's hard to see with all the stuff there. So you can, like I said, you can pin this, which is, I, I guess that is pinned. What about the other places? Were they pinned or was that more just because they're so close? No, they're not. So they show up if they're close and then obviously if they're really far away, then I guess you can pin. Like this one doesn't show up, right? But now that will always be showing up because we pinned it. So that makes sense, obviously. Okay. We're a little far, to be fair. Let's look at our researching anyways here. So um, let's see here. Uh, mecha core, so we're gonna get into the green stuff. Oh, look at that. So the stuff we're using for those, oh, those are for green, except then you need the, oh, look at that, that, that circuit there. I'm pretty sure that's a new type of circuit, which I saw here somewhere. Yeah, it's a quantum circuit, so it needs whatever the hell that is. And this is, well, whatever the hell that is, too. Are, actually, are we making those, or that something else? What is that glass from, too? They look somewhat familiar, but I'm not even too sure, to be fair. Oh, okay. So that's from... Oh, no. That's an annoying recipe. That's a lot of... I might want the raw resources for that one. That would be somewhat easier. Okay. Here's home sweet home. Oh. Uh, oh, crap. No. Stop. There you go. I uh, tab, okay, so when you're in space, I couldn't figure out what I was doing, but when I hold down the middle mouse button, I could steer myself anyways, but my, my issue there was obviously I forgot how to friggin' steer. I couldn't steer at all, so. Um, so how are we doing? Not too bad. You, actually, wait, you're doing really bad. Why are you doing bad? We're not making enough fiber cable. Oh, wait. Fiber cable's done around here, isn't it? Wasn't that one of our newest additions? Fiber cable, where are you? Aha, there you are. What are you low on? Well, that was you guys. You need plastic? We're not getting enough plastic. Why are you not... Let me guess. Actually, I can't guess. What are you missing? Oh, the mesh is low. I'm a little confused because. Oh, never mind. Oh, you're creating the mesh. Oh, I'm an idiot. Oh! This is more hydrogen, and the hydrogen is full. Okay, that's not a big deal then. Um, well, it is a big deal because obviously it's full, but we'll just do this for a second here and replace it. It's not as much of a big deal as I thought, so. There you go. Okay, so see, that's an example of, oh crap, you know. I, I, I do want, like, the more I've been playing, and the, the less I like the whole, let's just burn stuff in your, your garbage uh, system, I definitely would like to see um, some sort of system in place, basically, for uh, dealing with that. Some sort of item sink or something like that, I think, is needed, so... Obviously, this is more the fuel than we'll ever need. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so that'll start that up over time. So I only need 200 of the purple. Oh, wait, purple. That's the old stuff. Never mind. Oh, no, that's the new stuff. Never mind. No, that's right. We got the purple, and then we can make the quantum chip, which is needs 800. Okay, we got enough for those. That way, it's something I can look into or, uh, you know, attempt to over time, obviously. Okay. And then what I was thinking is we can go over here and grab some more resources. So whatever you want or need. Um, so grab whatever resources you see. I have a whole bunch of solar panels here, too. We're definitely grabbing those. Um, anything really important in this one? Not so much. N nothing that I can't just go around and grab too, right? So, 
I'm just thinking, hey, just grab some of the, uh, the stuff here and there. That way we have a bunch of stuff that we can use for crafting or handcrafting for now. And here I was thinking, hey, we need to do some automated crafting over time. And now I'm just grabbing everything by hand again. Just some resources so we don't have to we have them for a while anyways. There you go. I think it's a good idea. Go and uh, yeah, I'll grab the steel here. We're gonna have to ship steel for sure. We don't have to, obviously, but we'll need steel, iron, all those fun things. Okay. What else is over here? Oh yeah, you got the uh, the engines somewhere around here, right? Weren't there engines around here? Oh yeah, here they are. So we'll probably need those guys. We're gonna need the gears, but even then we we're gonna automate all that anyway, so. You know, I have so much titanium on the planet we're on, I think. At least I think there was on that planet, but I still want to grab a bunch. <laughs> go. There you go. Oh, you know what I could do with? Um, if we have any, these guys. There you go. Oh, that's it. We're full. Cool. Good enough for me. Okay, so uh, we're going to go back to our new little system here. Where is it? There we go. Well, that's in the system. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that. Uh, nice try, though. There we go. That is it. And then we're just going to cap up. Oh, look at the power it uses. I, yeah, it does use your main power, too. That's good to know, honestly. You're going to need it. There you go. Not bad. Yep. That's because I'm lazy. You know how much time that saved doing that? At the cost of it, not uh, not a problem. <laughs> and if it is a problem, we just have to make more, right? Okay, so we're going to go and uh, find our spot on here, which shouldn't be too hard with that. There you go. And there we have it. So basically, you got all these resources we can fill up in here. Boom, boom, boom. And then you got this one up here too. Do, 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 do. And then uh, more. I guess those can be counted as base resources too. And these are things you craft, right? The other ones, so that makes sense. There you go. I should probably keep some of this on me. I'm, I'm sure I'm using up some of my power too, right? So, okay. And then, um, we're going to need a bit of you guys anyways over time, but we'll just go. More than likely, I will need some of those. I just thought I'd just start grabbing some so we have a bit more room anyways. There you go. So I'll unlock this puppy here. Cool. And then, uh, yeah. How much are you guys on there? Should be careful. You should probably always keep one on you because there's going to be an accident one day and it ain't going to be pretty. There you go. Oh, you know, I didn't bring stone, but it's not a big deal. Not hard to get over here anyway, so. Um, I don't think we need those guys. I'm just seeing if we got a bit of everything at this point. Hard to tell, to be fair, but uh, 
should help anyways. Okay. And since it's such a short distance, I'm not worried about, you know, getting there or back and forth either. Um, so here's the fun thing. We have... Oh, I don't think I have anything on demand or supply at all like that. What is something I would have that... I guess... No, I don't have anything that I can really send yet to try this out, to be fair. I was just wondering, like, do I have anything I could send just to try this out? But not really. Um, let's go ahead and send these guys in here, at least, and see what happens. So there you go. Oh, they're in there. Sorry. And then, obviously, we want these guys in here. Fill that up. Awesome. Perfect. And then, yeah, we'll power this up here. So let's get our power. We'll get our stuff getting here. There's that. And then uh, this is just for power, right? So that's all I'm worried about right now. Basically getting our power up and running. So I want to obviously be in the, the nice, beautiful brightness as well. I don't want to just be giving it away. But you have to set up the solar panels to see if you're getting, like, your efficiency too, right? So if we click this, we're getting the full intensity. I think this would show, but 121% right now. So uh, I would say that's pretty good. So 400 and something megawatts, it said there. So let's go over here more. So basically, I'm just interested to in see how far we have to go to basically uh, not get much of... Uh, power over here just to see you know how far we have to go so that's a 96 percent intensity and this is actually following the the line over here which is actually a pretty big deal because that's the other side so you almost get a hundred percent just being there honestly i think i would rather place this here than having these creep all the way into the center I mean, you're still producing, what, 300? Yeah. If I get enough of these set up like this, I, yeah, I honestly would rather do this. Because uh, it's out of the way. It's in the darker part. So it's almost like, okay, this is your border. Anything beyond here is your dark area anyway. So meh, kind of boring. And at the same time, it gives you the opportunity to, uh, yeah, it'll actually look kind of cool because you're just going to face around. And then I can bring them in slowly too, right? Or I can bring them out. It doesn't really matter. But having this ring right around the entire planet like this, this is uh, going to be more than enough energy. And this is always constant too. So, yeah, I'll do that. I'll, I'll run back too and get more solar panels and I'll see how it goes. I'll just have fun with it. I'll see if I want, you know, one layer, maybe five layers. You never know, right? Um, I think the solid one basically means that you should have, uh, it should be straight all the way around, so. But it was, oh, is this the North Pole though? Oh, so you're going to go into the poles here. Oh no, but you can still continue on the pole, I think, so. Yeah, you can actually. Interesting. So the poles are kind of covered on this one too. That is so cool. So there you go. You've unlocked quantum uh, research here. Okay, let's see what this stuff is. So I want to obviously unlock... Well, I guess we have to research that next too. So obviously we want to unlock the green matrix, right? So there you go. That's, that's in the research there. So if we go to the green one, it requires that cool blue chip and then obviously our thing that we already have. So the cool blue chip is made out of our processors. Okay, we've already done that. We don't need to talk about that. Then it was made out of this, which is made out of water, titanium, and then um, regular glass. Okay, so we can get stone on this planet, I think, if not one of the other planets in this system. So I think we're going to build this all in this system, to be fair. Even the probably the processor. Um, well, actually, maybe. Let's see what the processor required again. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so if it doesn't require oil, that's where I'm kind of going with this. That's all I hope it isn't, so. Um, and then these ones, yeah, so this copper, and yeah, yeah, yeah. So I would say we build the processor here. That shouldn't be a problem. And then, yeah, so you have that. So that, that was that processor. Yeah, that that's simple. And then uh, this one here, obviously, um, this is the, the one that's the problem here. This is going to require a different resource, unless if you can find this other one. Oh no, it still requires these guys here, which is either your ice fire stuff or, yeah, or 
you use graphite and then oh well you know what graphite and stuff's probably not a big deal on this planet actually I'm gonna say this one's actually not a big deal although that organic crystal crap is annoying oh the plastics and oils and oh we'll see I could always ship stuff here too potentially so that's gonna be a bit of a mess to make um, it won't be right away anyways, but it's something I wanted to obviously look at and keep an eye on. So I will build this solar array and then uh, we'll go from there next episode. I might uh, go ahead and start uh, working on like, you know, just setting up the iron and, you know, like the basic stuff on the planet. Because obviously we've done it so many times we really don't need to bore you guys too much on that just so we can get things up and running and then uh, we'll go from there so thank you so much for watching please don't forget to subscribe comment like and we'll see wonderful people next time have a wonderful day goodbye